or certain things going wrong by 1260, because probably by 1260, some people had already started migrating from the area, and the rest of the people were moving into alcoves at Mesa Verde, building cliff dwellings, very defensive structures. Those beautiful cliff dwellings that we think of as the epitome of ancestral Pueblo culture today really represent a period of fragility and instability. You move off of the mesa tops where you can farm down into the cliffs for security to protect yourself. Other communities were building uh, places like Goodman Point Pueblo that had walls right on top of their springs. Uh, San Canyon Pueblo, a few miles to the west, built their, their village right on top of a spring, walled village. So people were, were gathering together, hunkering down, and people generally don't do that if everything is going wonderfully. During the period in the 1100s and early 1200s, a lot of these large cliff dwellings had towers constructed in them. At times, they were positioned in such a fashion that it suggests that they were used as either lookout towers, a place of refuge, a special place within the community.